Obviously, you were uh, committed to Pitt for a long time, and this is your hometown program. So, you know, now being on campus, being a member of the football program, how comfortable do you feel? I feel really comfortable, you know, just from being around this, uh, players for so long and talking to them even when I was still in high school and getting to know everything, you know. I always felt like I was a player, just not on campus yet, but now that I'm on campus, I really feel like officially like a player. Nakai, you you know, growing up here, you had a chance to see Pitt play and you've had a chance to probably see, you know, a lot of top talent in a defensive linemen. You being a defensive end, you just saw two All-Americans play all of this last season. How excited does that get you to see that kind of production from those guys and what that might do for your game growing in the next few years? It was one of the things that, you know, led me to committing here so early because I know they had a, a lot of, you know, success in my position uh true uh like the defensive line like I've been saying I feel like coach Partridge is one of the best defensive line coaches in the country and just allowing him to you know develop me I know I put all my trust in him Nikai how much credit do you give yourself for uh you know Elliot and uh Dorian coming here as well I give myself at least like half the credit you know uh just texting them and knowing them outside of football you know just Growing up with both of them, you know, I, I grew up with both of them. I knew them before all the offers, before high school, before all of that. And just like knowing them and having that personal connection, I really feel like that helped them a lot to, you know, going. Because I feel like where where we were going is where we were going. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if we decided to go anywhere, we were probably going to all go together. Nikai, you committed to Pitt, I believe, the summer of your going into your junior year of high school. What was that like being committed for that long? knowing that uh, some schools, a lot of schools were probably trying to, you know, flip you. Was that a, that, was that a difficult process for you? Uh, yeah, at times it really was because, you know, uh, when I committed, I was at the peak of getting my offers, you know, so like I was just starting to get a whole bunch of like really good offers. And I think at that time, you know, people were asking me, why did you commit so early? You know, wait till you get more offers. Everybody was looking at it like you got all these other schools you could go to. Like, why not wait to commit so you can get more offers so you can become a five star? But I really don't look at like the ratings and the media and all that stuff. You know, if I truly wanted to go somewhere, then I'm that if that's where my heart's at, that's where I'm going to go. And Pitt was where my heart was at at the time. And I'm, I'm glad I made that decision. You know, I'm still happy with my decision. Why did you commit so early? I mean, uh, what was it about Pitt that attracted you so early? Me, I'm just the type of guy that if I see something and I like it, then that's what I'm going with 100%. And I usually don't go back on my word. So when I was talking to Coach Partridge, you know, I thought about everything. I thought about the rest of the schools I had. I thought about the rest of the schools in the country. And, you know, I was like, I just don't think they're going to offer to me, offer me what Pitt will offer me. So when I made that decision, I just stuck with it and I told my mom. How exciting is it to, you know, step up into a program that you saw had a lot of production on the field, guys like Rashad and Patrick are preparing for the draft. I mean, how exciting is to join that kind of thing? It's very exciting, you know, um, just to know that like in a few years, that could be me in the same position. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, they came from, you know, schools just like my school, you know, not everybody in Pitt has come from like a top tier program or a program that recruits, you know, we all have come from like, a lot of people here have come from like public schools, you know, just local schools and just seeing the way they developed over the years from becoming like a three star recruit, two star recruit to now about to go to the NFL draft is just really exciting. How much did you follow Pitt as a kid? As a kid, you know, college football, I watched it, but I never really had like a true favorite team. I, I used, I was the guy who used to just watch all the highlights and stuff. But if you were to turn on a pit game, if you were to ask me who my favorite team was, I would most likely say Pitt, just because I'm a Pittsburgh person. You know, I'm a hometown everything. Like favorite team, Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't watch baseball, but if you ask me who my favorite baseball team would I, is, I would have said the Pirates. You know, I'm just, I'm a Pittsburgh guy. You know, I, I put on for Pittsburgh. How important when, when you go back home or opportunities where, you, where you're back home off campus, what's it like just to wear the, the colors and know that you're representing your hometown? Uh, I just, it, uh, a lot of people give me a lot of respect, you know, walking around. Uh, everybody, it's feel like I'm like half a, I don't, I, I'm humble, but like half the time I really do feel like a, like a superstar walking around, you know, in the mall, people looking at me, they're like, is that Nakai Johnson? You know, people coming up to me wanting to take pictures and stuff. I do feel like, like, 
like a, uh, a superstar, but at the same time, I got to be humble because I'm only, I'm still at the beginning. You know, I haven't really earned anything. I just got here. What has this process been like so far for you to kind of early enrolling and you're getting into winter workouts now pushing towards spring ball here? The process it's it's moving. I, I wouldn't say I'm like above where I'm supposed to be, but like I'm right for me coming straight out of high school and, you know, not knowing anything about any of this stuff. I feel like I'm moving at the pace that I'm supposed to be moving at I'm progressing every week. I'm never going down. I'm not staying the same. Like I'm gaining more knowledge. You know, my weight's going up. Uh, when I got here, I was about like 230. I'm at, I'm around like 240, 245 right now, you know, so it's just, it's I'm progressing. And I'm happy with the progression. What was it about uh, Charlie Partridge that kind of uh, stood out to you when he was recruiting you? I mean, was it, you know, did he show you any film of certain guys or show or tell you how you would fit within the defense? I mean, what was the, what was the pitch, I guess, from his perspective there? Honestly, uh, the field on the play stood for itself, you know, just seeing all the people that came from him and all the people that were under his wing that are now in the NFL spoke for itself. He didn't even have to bring that up. And I already knew that, but Truthfully, what really uh, pulled me in was just him, like him as a person, you know, I feel like me and Coach Partridge, we have more of a like a personal connection more than a business connection, you know, uh, I just it just everything about Coach Partridge is just I thought was the right choice and like a person that I wanted to coach me. Nikai, you're obviously a defensive end, but has there, has there been any talk about maybe playing outside linebacker at some point? Um. Not as of right now, uh, no, but any I know anything could happen. And I like in the weight room when I walk around, I, I hear a lot of people saying, you know, oh, I thought you were outside linebacker. Or, oh, you're built just like an outside linebacker because I'm not I'm not like the biggest the biggest defensive end in the uh, weight room. You know what I'm saying? I'm off to the I wouldn't say the smaller side, but like, yeah, I would say I'm off to the smaller side. But like most people, yeah, they uh, do compare me to like outside linebacker, but if that's what they want to do, then that's what they want to do. I wouldn't complain about it. I'm just, I'm just still happy to be here. Nakai, who were who the players that you idolized growing up that you said, you said, Hey, I want to play like that guy, you know, whether it was in college or in the pros uh, and was some of that seeing guys that were more like you maybe on the, on the smaller side that made big plays off the edge. Honestly, I always refer, I always, thought I was going to be an outside linebacker, to be honest, when I was growing up. So I always based my game off of people like Vaughn Miller, the people off the edge, super quick, like uh, DeMarcus Ware, Vaughn Miller, when they both were on the same team, you know, I was really big. That's when the Broncos went to the championship. That's when I was really like at my prime and watching football. Uh, also uh, defensive inside people like Miles Garrett, like he was just a freak. And I was like, man, if I could like, I was comparing, trying to compare myself to him, trying to get built like him. You know what I'm saying? People like that. You said you were at 245. Do you plan to keep going? Maybe get up to 260? Yeah, nope. uh, my plan right now is to at least get in like the 250, 255 range. If I need to get to 260, then I'll get to 260. But I feel like I feel like I would be good playing at a good 250, 255 because, like I said, I'm a smaller, quicker guy. And uh, they told me, I mean, weight is a big part, but like it all just goes to how my body is because I'm not, I don't really want to be like a fat, fat 260 or fat 260. Like I want everything about me has to be lean. Like I've never been like a very fat person. I've always been lean. Okay, one more quick question. Uh, when you were committed to Pitt, what were those conversations like when other schools would call you? You know, uh, some schools would just not even bring up the fact that I was committed. They would still just talk to me and recruit me as if I was just still out here, just like as a free agent. Other schools, you know, uh, when I would talk to them, they would try to like, yeah, I would say talk down about Pitt, you know, try to say that they're better than Pitt, more arrogant. Oh, we have more fans here. Why would you go there? This school is way better. Plus, we got more people getting drafted than them, you know. But at the end of the day, I made my decision, and I really don't go back on my decision. I would hear them, you know. I wouldn't entertain it, but I would just be like, okay, yeah, yeah, you know. Kai, you had mentioned about staying around home. How involved is your family in your football career? And hopefully, if uh, fans are allowed to come, how exciting will it be to have them at Heinz Field? 
uh, like right now, as of right now, I'm like the superstar of the family, you know, everything is uh, on my back right now, you know, all, all my cousins, all my, everybody just texting me, talking to me, just congratulating me, just them seeing me like progress as a kid who just played for a little league team now becoming this division one athlete, you know, everybody, everybody is proud of me. And uh, definitely my parents, you know, my parents are like my biggest supporters. They just, they know everything. My dad's looking up my name on Google every five minutes to see what the latest post about me. You know, he probably has all of you guys on everything. And yeah, it's just, this exciting, you know, I'm, I'm glad they're here to support me. You know, I have a really good family that supports me a lot.